What's up YouTube? Today we're doing a review on the Banggood.com Geek Crete 7-inch 1024 by 600 HD IPS LCD display with touch features. Uh, we're probably not going to be using those touch features in this video, but it would look something like this. You could use it with Pixel and it works just fine. So let's go ahead and open up the box and run some retro pie on this bad boy. Hello YouTube. Based on the title, you probably know what's in the box. So let's go ahead and open this up. This is from banggood.com. And you've seen me review many screens that are small, but how about a much larger screen? And uh, they sell enclosures for the screen as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a review on the screen and I hope to get the enclosure, enclosure soon. So we could do a review on that. Um, it does come with a ribbon style HDMI cable. Nice to see, flat ribbon. And you do get your power cable as well. 1024 by 600 resolution, HDMI LCD. Go ahead and pull this off. Oh, it has two screen protectors. Look at that. All right, now we're talking. All right, looking good. In order to get this to work on your retro pie, you're gonna go ahead and burn an image, or if you have an image already, go ahead and go over to here, copy this from the um, Banggood website. After you copy this, go ahead and put your micro SD card in your computer. Once the micro SD card is in your computer, go ahead and go to the config.txt, get it open with WordPad. And here it is. As you can see, I copied and pasted it here. I also changed my overscan to 1024 by 600 to match the resolution of the screen as well. If you have any other HDMI groups or HDMI modes in this uncomment in the config.txt, go ahead and delete those as well. But these frame ones, frequencies, these are all about your processor, things like that, not about your display. So those you can leave as is. Once you're done, exit out. It'll say, "Are you? do you want to save? Go ahead and say yes. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and put that in our pie. All right. So this has got Super Nintendo, some Mega Drive, and some NES on there. Let's go ahead and play some Super Mario Brothers 3. All right, looks really good. You want me to do the sound effects? Okay. <laughs> what? Look at that glitch right there. Not enough frame. Not in the right frame. What? <laughs> that was pretty bad. I guess I wasn't holding run there. Okay, so you got Nintendo. What do we got on Mega Drive? We've got a lot. Disney's Aladdin. All right, let's get this started. All right, cool. Skip, skip, skip. How many times can you fall off? There we go. Get up there. There it goes. You want some battle? Can you hit these hands? There you can. Got them both in one swoop. Another genie. Alright, so you guys got it. And a Super Nintendo game. <clears throat> I 
I beat this game on a previous uh, video. Supposedly, it's, some, it's one of the best games that was ported over from one system, from a MAME system into a console system, where they didn't alter the game much. Like they left the game pretty much unaltered. So you get that MAME experience without the, um, you know, watered down. gameplay. It's a pretty good game. Got some cash money right there. Ooh, died. Alright, so there you have it. I mean, you can see it's running really good. This is a carbon theme, but anything's going to run on here. What great, you know, you have full screen here. Those games are on a 4.3 resolution. Um, you can stretch them out, though, if you want. Um, I mean, the screen, you get all the pixels all the way around, you know, it looks great and this is just a camera looking at it from a real person, When if you're not behind the lens, uh, it looks amazing, it looks great. And uh, I like the big seven inch uh, screen, you know, the bigger the better, <laughs> that's usually the case. And uh, in this case, uh, you know, this is beautiful. Um, I mean, it's, it's a little pricier, but I think for like a portable build or like a really small bar top, or um, you know, just have an extra screen around to plug your Pi into, plug a single board computer into. You know, this definitely is a good product for that. So um, packaging was great. Came in the box. It was well insulated. I don't think any damage is going to happen during shipping. And uh, <clears throat> as far as like, you know, a lot of these uh, 3.5 inch screens are about you know thirty dollars or so. So you know, for an extra twenty bucks, uh, and then the five inch screens are around 40, so then they go up to seven inch for 50. It really is in that ballpark of the small screen prices. So it's a, it's a competitive unit. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Let's go ahead and shut down, quit. Shut down system.